what's up everybody so um i want to actually make this clear because i'm getting a lot of questions about this um a lot of people are hitting me up on messenger which is awesome i love that you guys are asking me questions but i figure i would make a video um or at least do a live to kind of clear up any questions that you might be having a lot of people are asking me you know do i need a relay for my portable turntable just you know to use a start stop button or do i you know what do i need what do i don't need so here's here's what you're gonna need to know okay there's two different types of buttons okay this button here this is a 24 millimeter um arcade button okay these are the ones that i use um when i do the start stop buttons on the pt01s you know you can get these online for a couple of bucks okay this one actually comes with the uh jesse dean um ultra pitch all right now there's a difference between both of these buttons okay one is a latching and one is a non-latching button now latching basically means when you push the button down okay push it down it's gonna lock in place okay so when it locks down it keeps the connection there, there's so let's say that this is your circuit here okay and this is a broken circuit this is an actual connected circuit okay so right now when the button is pushed you know it's depressed it's not going to start anything okay the, it, there's no there's no connection there's no signal when you push the button down on a latching button you're going to push the button down and it's going to latch and it's going to lock it's going to create that circuit so that it's going to send signal through the uh through the actual um button to you know the turntable to tell it to let the platter spin okay that is a latching button it's going to stay there until you push the button down again and then it's going to unlock and kick your kick it back up again and then it'll stop spinning okay so that's what a latching button is going to do whoops it's going to latch and it's going to lock in place until you push it again these types of little buttons and you can find them when you can find them with arcade buttons too that do that but these type of buttons you will not need a relay and the reason for it is is because with the same little switch that is on the tone arm when you push you know pull the tone arm off um that's the same kind of uh idea there's a little finger on the tone arm that hits that latch Let's see how i could do this okay and so the latch is here all right now when you take the tone arm off and you put it on the platter it pushes that it pushes that down like that okay and it stays down so it's sending a signal through okay when you take the tone arm and you put it back on the um stand uh you know the hook that that the tone arm stays on then it goes away and then that latch open uh closes again well opens so then you you know you're not sending a signal so that in a sense is what this is doing okay now this button here this is a non-latching button okay it's an arcade button so when i push it it just it's going to spring right back up again it's not gonna you know it's not gonna stay down in a locked position if you were to put one of these on your turntable or your portable okay without a relay without a, a locking relay um let's see here so it has to be a latching relay okay it, that's the only way that's gonna work with this but if you if you put this in your your pt01 or your vestex whatever portable turntable you have you put a, a non-latching button in there when you push the button down the platter is going to spin because the connection is made but as soon as you take your finger off of this button see how it pops back up your platter is going to stop spinning okay so that's the reason why you need to get a one channel latching relay for these types of buttons these buttons you don't need that because like i said it locks in place until you push it again and then it unlocks so you know that's going to be the difference between what type of button you're going to use for a start stop button um i personally like the arcade button i like the way it feels it feels almost like a start stop button on a 
on a regular turntable and it kind of gives me that um old retro feel you know like when i was a kid i used to go to the arcade a lot and play arcade games so i just like the way they feel okay so hopefully this little video kind of helps you guys out and um you know kind of clarifies the you know which button you're going to need to get a relay and not have a relay okay so hopefully that helps and uh yeah if you have any other questions let me know and i'll be uh i'll be i'll be, i will try to answer them as best as i can all right so i'm out for now peace